linear functions. Here is a word problem on linear functions. To rent a bike, you must pay a daily rate plus $1.08 per hour. Amita rented a bike for 4 hours and paid $49. Write a linear equation for the cost C of renting the bike for H hours and determine how much it costs to rent the bike for 8 hours. Hmm. How to do such a question? I am Anil Kumar and now let us try to understand how to solve a word problem like this. Let's read it once again. To rent a bike, you must pay a daily rate plus dollar eight per hour so dollar eight per hour is a variable cost it changes with hour and a daily rate is a fixed cost now since there is a rate we are looking forward for a linear function right so i can from here write down my function as y equals to a fixed daily rate let me call that as r plus a variable rate of eight per hour that means dollar eight times h where h is number of hours so that gives us the equation now we have some information amita rented a bike for four hours and paid dollar 49 so that means y value i should have written cost c since we have already mentioned let me change this to c so the cost c right so amita rented a bike for four hours and paid 49 dollars that means $49 is the cost for renting the bike for how many hours? 4 hours, right? So we will let 8 times 4. Got it? So that gives us rate plus 32 equals to 49 and R, the fixed cost, right? Daily rate, that means a fixed cost. It is not a variable rate. Will be 49 minus 32. So from here we get 7. So daily rate for us or fixed cost for renting the bike is 7 and the variable cost is 8 per hour. So now we can write down our function which is a linear function as c equals to 7 plus 8h. Right? Now write a linear equation for the cost c of renting the bike for h hours that is the one and determine how much it costs to rent the bike for 8 hours. So we can substitute 8 and find our answer. So cost for renting the bike for 8 hours should be 8 times 8 plus 7, which is 7 plus 64, correct? So 7 plus 4 is 11, so we get $71, right? So the answer is cost for 8 hours will be, we can write like this also, equals to $1.71, right? So that is how you can answer this question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. It is not twice of $49, which some students might just jump into, right? It is not. So we have a fixed cost, which you need to find from the given information and then find the total cost. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot about mathematics from my videos. Thank you.